Hang loose recluse, breaking news. This one's about the farmers' protests that have been going on since the 8th of January. That's, that's right, many European cities have been witnessed. What? Protests like this in 2024. Obviously, some non-English speaking prick wrote that headline with angry farmers using tractors and heavy machinery to cause a gridlock. That's right, folks. This is what we're going to do on this channel from now on. Just find news stories and read the news to you. If you don't like it, you know what you can do. You can go and get fucked. Thank you. Anyway, in London, farmers organized a slow motion convoy towards the UK Parliament on Monday. Maybe I'll slow it down for all the pricks out there that don't like me speaking fast. Okay, driving dozens of tractors to protest post-Brexit. See, too slow. I can't read it all. Gotta read it fast. Go get stuffed. Thank you. All right, what, what next? Yeah, this has been going on since 8th of January. But, oh, anyway, meanwhile, in Brussels, protests by farmers turned violent as EU agriculture ministers met to address ongoing crisis. But the Australian mainstream media has been dead silent on this pretty much since the start of the year when it all began in Germany on the 8th of January. Farmers threw vegetables, sprayed manure police and set hay alight as hundreds of tractors sealed off streets around the city's European quarter. That's because the government's trying to tell them, no, oh, you can't farm like you used to. Anyway, the situation escalated when one person was arrested for throwing Molotov cocktails. Why does the government want the farmers not to farm like they used to? I've got to be careful what I say on this platform because I think you guys know why. It's because they want to control people. All right, resulting in two police officers being injured and transferred to hospital. They want to control. They want to change society. They want to manipulate society into more control. Anyway, however, the question remains, why are the farmers protesting across Europe? I just told you why. That's why. You know why. Because the government's saying, no, nah, we're going to put everything, you have to pay, you're not going to get subsidies, whatever the hell. Anyway, and why has this been dragging on like this? Hey, why? Why? Because the government are stubborn and they're controlled by globalists. In 2024, thousands of farmers have taken to the streets expressing their frustration over various issues. That's right. They sure, sure fucking have. And why is this not on Australian news? You know why? Because Australian mainstream media is controlled by the same people that controlled all the other organisations of media, including the EU's sustainability policies and the impact of the war in Ukraine. That's right, because they're trying to say, we want to tax you more for everything. We want to take more money from the farmer and make the farmer work for less. In France, farmers have resorted to blocking large stretches of motorways. That's right. They've done that in all the other places too. They did it in Germany, they did it in Barcelona, Spain, I should say, putting pressure on Prime Minister Gabriel Attal to address their concerns. But the government has an agenda to try and force everybody into taxes to, to pay for CO2 emissions. Of course, oh, you've got to reduce it all. Farmers say they are forcing burdens and debt, pressure from powerful retailers and agrochemical bloody whatever the hell that was, as well as the effects of extreme weather. Oh, I don't think that needs to be put in there. There's a reason the, the mainstream media on this video put that in there, because that's what they want to say. Oh, the government's changing it because of a certain narrative I can't say here. You get censored. The war in Ukraine has only worsened the situation, causing supply problems and short-lived price spikes like uh, for crops like wheat. Sorry about reading it fast. No, I'm not sorry. You don't like it? Fuck off. Thank you. This is my channel. I'll fucking read the news how I fucking well like. Thank you. All right, protests vary from country to country, with German farmers protesting against government cuts in diesel subsidies. Yes, that's right. If you'd like to annoy uh, the algorithm, you can always subscribe and then desubscribe a minute later, if you'd like, even if you don't want to subscribe, while French farmers oppose free trade deals and environmental regulations. Yep, fuck the news, fuck the mainstream media. It's good that I found this story, because I thought, fuck it, this only came out two days ago on this channel. This is another one that I'm reading out. It's just a reading news channel, uh, obviously. Anyway, good fun. I enjoy it. In response, EU member states have provisionally approved proposals to loosen rules in areas like crop rotation and soil protection. Of course they fucking well have. There you go, all the answers are in there. But the government's trying to tell them, no, you can't farm like you used to. No, no, we want to take more of your money away. The EU parliament is expected to decide on the proposals in late April amid criticism from climate activists. That's right, but they want to starve the world? Is that what they want to do? Is that what they want to do? Are they? I can't say they are, but they, are they, are they who fear the long term? Ah, missed that bloody teleprompt there. Never mind. I was. Major protests have also affected countries like Belgium, France, Spain, Italy, and Poland. And of course, Australia has been quiet because, you know, it's coming. Don't worry, it's coming to this country. It's going to reduce tractor sales and agricultural sales. And people in the industry in Australia are in denial because I know some of them and they're actually in denial about it. And they think, nah, it's not going to happen here. It's not going to happen. No, yes, it will happen, guys. If it's happening there, it's happening here. With the European Parliament elections coming in June, there's a reason why they're doing this. And the reason why it's happening in those big European countries, Australia's a little piss and country. Where next? 
Anyway, balancing sustainability with the concerns of farmers is likely to be a pivotal issue because the Australian government will also, you know, suck up to the other leaders of globalists and all that sort of stuff and it's going to happen here too don't get me wrong guys like i said i know people in the industry of agriculture and farming that was my previous job and i spoke to some of those people and they're all in fucking denial that it's going to happen in this country but it fucking well will anyway this has been another hang loose recluse breaking news story read out to you like a fucking boss that's right like a fucking boss don't forget to hit subscribe so you can desubscribe this has been the hang loose recluse fucking new news channel stolen news if you like it tell us in the fucking comments if you don't like it just desubscribe and fuck off thank you